What's good, my lady committee? Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video with the equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit tie. You already know what time it is. Now, let's go. Now, today I want to start off with something a bit interesting. I feel like there's a lot of rappers in the UK who we haven't really heard a lot from in a quite a long time. And I'm going to be starting this new series. It's called Is This Rapper on the clock now if you don't know what on the clock means on the clock is essentially artists who is kind of on their way to falling off they're not there yet but they're kind of starting to look a little funny in the light and you might have to put a magnifying glass on them to see what's going on with their music at the moment now today the rapper i'm going to be discussing in this capacity is the one and only kojo funds and before we get into it you already know what you gotta do you just gotta like comment subscribe so you can be up to date every time i drop a banger like this one and hit that notey because you in the nitty so you can be the first to know when one of these videos comes out and without further ado let's get straight into it now kojo funds he's a very interesting case i'll say that much because when kojo funds was active in the music scene, you really felt it in your heart and in your soul, no homo. He had hits on hits on hits. He had more hits than Adam Sandler had in that Waterboy movie. Now, I don't, I haven't seen that movie personally, but it's something to do with baseball, so I think that joke works. Let me know in the comments if that doesn't work. <laughs> but. Now, unlike the water in that movie, it seems like his momentum has kind of dried up a little bit. And that's bars. That is bars. If you don't know about Kojo Funds, he's an East London rapper. He's got African and Dominican heritage. And he was actually one of the main people who was, you know, quote unquote, pioneering that Afro swing sound from around probably 2016 to 2018 maybe a bit of 2019 as well but mainly 2016 to 2018 along with people like notes young bane jay Huss, like he was in that kind of realm i think the first time he he gained a bit of traction or at least showed up on my radar was when he featured on the song fine wine with young bane started from the bottom now we're here. another as I said, avid Afro swing person. And this song obviously gained a massive amount of success, had millions of views on YouTube. I think it's currently on 16 million views, so very successful. And it actually went silver in the UK as well, so it did numbers. He then had an, another hit called My Nine, which was also a successful song. And then he came with another hit. On that same year with Abracadabra on the massively successful song called Done Talking. And at this point, it seemed like Kojo was going on a run. He kept up the momentum. He kept giving more hits. He was on a hit with Mabel called Finders Keepers. Kind of like a popish kind of record. But he was still giving those Afro swing vibes on there. He had Calling with Chip. And of course, the extremely successful Check with Ray. Which, if you check, bars. This song actually charted at number 26 on the chart and even went gold in the UK in 2018. So basically at this point, you're thinking Kojo Funds, he's that guy. He's that guy. He can do no wrong. He just keeps spouting out hits. He even dropped a project in 2018 called Golden Boy, which was, you know, quite successful. It had a lot of hits from some of the hits I previously mentioned from like 2016 and whatnot to... I guess boost up the sales maybe or I don't know that's usually why they do that but either way it seemed like he you know he he'd put on he was on he was in the mix he was doing his thing but after that it just kind of seemed like he like fell off the face of the earth if I'm being very honest I've barely heard anything from this guy like music wise in in 2019 all I really heard was him on WizKid's album on that song I like which was quite a successful song i'll be fair that was quite a successful song and obviously i heard him on kano's album as well which was another song that did did its thing too but that's literally it i think he may have had a song with steph london as that year as well which was mildly successful but that's literally it or so you would think but when you actually go on kojo fun spotify you'll see that he did drop a couple of songs in 2020 but it just seems like these have made little to no impact on the culture he dropped a song called Vanessa, which just has one mil plays. He dropped a song called Duppy with 500k plays. And then he dropped a song called Fallen with 
300k plays as of the time I'm making this video. Now, if you're not very, you know, hip to hip hop and grime and rap and the music scene in general, those numbers might sound big, but let me tell you, those numbers are atrocious. <laughs> They're absolutely atrocious, especially for someone of Kojo Fonz's status and the amount of hits that he's already put out. Like his top five songs on Spotify, they all have eight figure plays, apart from one which has seven figures, the Kano one. So the fact that he's now only getting six figure plays and some are in the low six figures as well is quite astonishing to to be honest, which then obviously leads us to the question, is Kojo Funds on the clock? And as sad as it is to say, I think it's fairly certain that he might be going in that direction. Now, I'm not sure why exactly this is the case. Don't kill the messenger. I have the utmost respect for Kojo Funds. I mean it with no disrespect as well. But I don't know if he's taking a slight break from music or if he's having label issues or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But... It just seems like he's not getting the same level of traffic on his music that he used to in the past. And I'm struggling to figure out why that is. Because I didn't even know about these records that he dropped until I actually had to go on Spotify and see for myself. Which means no promo was being done for it. It was basically just getting chucked out there. I don't think there was even a video for it. There might have been for one of them. But the other one's definitely not. I do, however, think that it is important to note that we have moved swiftly out of the afro swing era which was where he was in his prime and we're very much in the the drill scene which it seems like a few artists haven't been able to fully adapt to survive in that current era yeah that's true now let's go back to my nigger on the floor we've of course got have people like jay huss who they're so solidified in their sound that it doesn't really matter what genre we're in people are going to rock with them regardless but I'm not sure if Kojo Funds has solidified himself to that point just yet. I wouldn't necessarily say that, you know, he should go make a a drill track. But, I mean, it, it might not hurt, shit. <laughs> if he can find a way to do it that seems, you know, authentic and is not forced. Like, I don't want you to force anything, Kojo. But if you can find it and, and get a song that works, then... I don't see why not. I mean, everyone's doing it these days. Although there does seem to be light at the end of the tunnel. Kojo did drop a picture on his Instagram with the caption 24-7. Now, I'm not sure if he's referring to the date 24-7, which would be the 24th of July. In which case, he could be dropping a project that day. I doubt it would be a single because <laughs> why would you announce a single that's <laughs> six months away? It's, it's a bit pointless, to be honest. No one's going to be anticipating a single for six months unless you're like Rihanna or something. Or it could just be, you know, him saying that he's working 24-7, in which case we have some proof that he's still doing music and he's still in the studio and we could be expecting music from him soon. And I really do hope that that music that he's going to put out is of a high caliber so he can get himself back in the conversation. But let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Do you think that Kojo Funds is indeed on the clock and things are looking a little bit funny in the light for his music right now? Or do you think that I'm chatting a whole bunch of baloney, a whole bunch of zebra booty and that Kojo Funds is a legend, he's solidified, he can drop music whenever he wants to, he's basically Rihanna and people will still love him. You let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 500 subs. You already know what time it is. You can follow me on IG at lit.ent underscore underscore. Follow my personal at the only lit.ent if you care about what I do when I'm not making these bangers for you. I post updates on Twitter as well, so you might as well follow me on there because what else are you doing with your life? Absolutely nothing, mate. Stay black. And if you're not black, stay whatever race you are. Hi, bet. Peace. Oh, you ain't know I can sing. <laughs>